LMFAO on the Metroid Dread Metacritic page. Zero by DRDR. This game is for a few expert gamers to flex. It's way too hard for most people. I'm 10 hours in and I've just deleted it. For me, it's been a slow, frustrating slog and I really haven't enjoyed most of it. One difficult boss after another with some frustrating platforming in between. It's a shame we can't return games. This one would be going back. Oh, 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 oh boy, looks like someone got their cupcakes burnt in the oven this morning from playing Metroid Dread. Apparently it's too hard and I'm gonna give you a little perspective on this right now because I am a self-proclaimed real gamer, okay? I am the yolks of gaming when it comes to these type of video games. And yes, I've been playing Metroid Dread. I am at the last boss, in fact. For someone to give this game a zero because it's too hard, I think you're projecting self-doubt or something. <laughs> Look, I can understand you having a hard time because you can't get anywhere, but does that mean that the game is worse? Are the graphics worse? Are the sound design worse? Gameplay worse? Where are you coming from? Because all this says is that you couldn't keep up with the heat <laughs> in the kitchen and you had to give it a zero. By the way, I'm not the only one who thinks this is a little silly. Let's check out the Reddit comments. It's not going to appeal to everyone, but calling it a game so difficult, it's just for a few experts, gamers to flex, <laughs> it's laughable. There are more difficult games out there. I never touched a Metroid game other than Fusion, but I got stuck when I was like eight and it was pretty tough, but I enjoyed nearly every second. Look, the game can be hard, but it's not poorly designed. I feel like these are the same people who pick up Hollow Knight or Dark Souls and get mad at the game design for being too hard for players to enjoy. To say this game is for expert gamers to flex, I mean, I mean <laughs> you know, the, the game is kind of easy to me. <laughs> I'm joking. I am joking. It is actually kind of a difficult game, but that does not mean it's a bad game because you're not having fun because you can't beat a boss or know where to go. Well, in fact, I wanna help you out, I'll be honest, because people haven't played Metroid before. Maybe this is your first introduction to the series, the game, the franchise. Well here, let me give you some tips, some advice, since you obviously need some. The fact is this game is not made for babies. It's made for gamers. It's made for people who wanna have fun and have a challenge. And I think that's the big thing about Metroid is atmospheric thriller, horror, slash alien spacesuit challenge, okay? You are on an alien planet. You see, this is an Animal Crossing, okay? We are not on some island building a village. No, we are fighting tooth and nail to survive and we are going to beat the Emmys, which are the robots in the game. But all that to say, this is a boss slugger of a Metroid game. There, you know, I've played all the others and I hate to admit it, but this is probably one of the hardest Metroid games when it comes to like the boss battles. Personally, I've gotten through them all, but I don't think I've died so many times. Although it is difficult, it I wouldn't say it's super hard because I'm getting through it. I didn't drop it, okay? So the fact is this is a boss slugger kind of game, which I didn't know going into it that it was gonna be so focused on mini fights and bosses, but I should have known from Metroid Samus Returns or the remake that was made by the same studio, Mercury Steam, the people who made this Metroid game. The thing about this game is it's about reward like you learn the patterns you learn the way these creatures move and you adapt and you get better and that's the point like if anybody could pick it up and just immediately beat all the bosses well they are an amazing talented person and they're probably an expert gamer <laughs> i guess but like for us normies out there like I think it's important to be able to know that you can get better. I, that's one of the funnest things about the game. I'll put the game down for a little bit, like an hour. I'll come back to it and all of a sudden, like my muscle memory is on expert mode and I beat the boss that I had problem with like not even an hour ago. I mean, there are a shit ton of bosses, not gonna lie, but that's the point, okay? That you're playing this game for a challenge and a good story and to be on edge. And I will admit, I've been on the edge for this game the entire time. I feel like there are some people out there who are wondering, why isn't there an easy mode? The fact is, what you buy is what you get. 
and it's designed in a way to where you can beat it you just have to work at it and maybe you're lost in the game okay well i'm gonna give you some tips first off shoot your gun everywhere second off like blow up bombs ever use your missiles blow up the entire room try to figure out if there's somewhere else to go that's around your area learn how to jump off walls practice that for a little bit look up metroid wall jump it's something that's in most metroid games and it works in this one and i've been using it the entire game it's helped me immensely with all the bosses the bomb jump so if you turn into a little ball and you use your little bombs you can like bounce and stuff well you can do that quite a bit so it elevates you higher this isn't needed by the way this is optional but i've done this in the game and it's helped me get a few items really early so i didn't have to backtrack for it but i just said it earlier but like let your muscle memory like learn how the buttons work typically like you would press select and it would go to a different like missile in the old metroid game so like the the buttons were more simplified but like the whole time i'm pressing like four buttons at the same time and moving around dodging and jumping and it's a lot so Give yourself time for your muscle memory to just catch up to it, you know? So maybe that's sleeping and coming back to it in the morning or giving it an hour and coming back to it again. And I promise you, you're gonna see improvements. It's kind of like an instrument, man. You strum a guitar, you can use a controller and learn the dexterity of being a gamer. So interesting with Metro Dread, it's like the first time I've played a game and although I'm frustrated, like I don't get too mad. I'm like, okay, well, I know what they're doing. So how do I just avoid that? And then maybe you can't figure it out. You just can't get it. Well, then look up a YouTube video. I hate to admit it, but I did this with Hollow Knight. Sometimes you just gotta see a pro play and it'll give you an idea for what to do in one of your fights. For example, if they introduce you a weapon in the game, well, maybe you'll use it in this next fight and it'll make it a little bit easier. You can fight the old way or you can use a new weapon. It's optional, right? It's up to the player, the player's choice. And last thing I wanna mention is read the Metroid manga that it's online, okay, you can find it. You know, it's been out for a long, long time, but like, I feel like a lot of my emotional connection with Samus Aran, the Chozo, and what's going on right now is because I know the backstory of from Metroid to Super Metroid to Fusion to now where the storyline is. And the manga talks about the childhood of Samus Aran and how she became one of the best bounty hunters in the universe. It definitely extend your love for the character and there are moments in this game where if I didn't read the manga, it wouldn't have touched me in a deeper sense because I would have probably been like, huh, what's a Chozo? What's this bird thing? <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you know the history, then it's like, oh shoot, okay. That's what's going on. The series is more so experienced through the games. Just two or three chapters of the manga, that's good enough for you to be able to dive in and play the games with a deeper appreciation. At the end of the day, the game is definitely not a zero. You know, I'm gonna release a review for this game soon once I beat it, okay? But I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of things I love and maybe things I don't like as much. It does not deserve that. It's a well-designed, you can see the love and passion that went into this game. So I am just upset that honestly that you went out and made this review. It didn't deserve it. Thanks for hanging out, homies. It's your boy Real T just talking about whatever the topic is today. Stop hate, make love. Anyone can be a hero. You are awesome. Bye -bye.